Hello viewers, Whidbey Ben here with a Bronco project. We ordered this Bronco Badlands with the Sasquatch package in July of 2021. It just arrived in January of 2024, so we've been waiting a good long time for this vehicle. One of the things we had to do when we ordered this vehicle was we had to remove the tow package that we had requested because this was a constrained item. The tow package consists of a, a hitch receiver and a wiring package. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the hitch receiver today. This is the hitch receiver that we're going to be installing. This is from Kurt and it is rated at 350 pounds tongue weight, 3,500 pound towing rate which is the same as the factory OEM hitch receiver. Installation should be very simple. We just have to put this in position and insert four bolts and torque them to spec. Hopefully that won't take too long. Here is a view from underneath the uh, Bronco. This is the rear frame member. And um, we see there's one, two, three, four holes in this member that uh, we'll use to bolt this receiver in through. We don't need a lot of tools for this project. We've got a uh, socket wrench with a three-quarter inch socket, an open-ended wrench, three-quarters, and we've got a uh, torque wrench set at 110 foot-pounds of torque. And we're just going to be installing these four bolts. They go in from the front side and come out the back side, and there is a flange nut that goes on the end of each of these. You will need to do this, <clears throat> but I'm using a jack to hold this in place while I put the screws in. You can always just have a buddy help you with that, but let's start with these middle ones first. And actually, you want to angle your bolts down like this. Start with it above the top of the muffler here. And then you can angle it down in and then level it out. This just shows the clearance of the bolts on the back side here. So I'm going to take those uh, collar nuts and thread those on there. Clearance for installing the outer nuts is really quite tight, so you're going to have to use the open end of the wrench to hold the flange nuts into place. I'll uh, put that into place and tighten it up hand tight. Okay, we've got all four of those bolts hand tight in there. And the only thing tricky about it is just to use the open end of the wrench to hold these uh, flange nuts while you're uh, threading the bolt in through from behind. Now we're going to use the torque wrench and we're just going to torque these to 110 pounds. Be aware that 110 pounds of uh, foot pounds of torque is a lot of torque so you're going to need to use a real torque wrench in order to get it up. <sighs> To 110 pounds of torque you're not going to be able to do it with the short wrench well there we have it our Kurt class 3 tow hitch receiver has been installed the uh, part was hundred and eight dollars on Amazon and it took about 15 minutes to install it so uh, it doesn't doesn't really require any special tools or knowledge other than a uh, torque wrench and um, <clears throat> I'm sure this saved us a lot of money over having the hitch receiver installed at the factory. So there you have it, viewers. For just $108 and about 15 minutes labor, you can install a Class 3 hitch receiver onto your Ford Bronco. If you're ordering a Bronco and the hitch receiver or towing packages are still a constrained item, don't be afraid to order it without or remove the tow package so that you can get your order moving more quickly. Well, that's all we have for today's project. I hope you found that helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.